guys, today's video is going to be a fun one. I'm actually going to show you all the decorations I have done for my best friend's hen night, which is coming up very, very soon. She likes to call it a girls' night, so it's going to be a hen night slash girls' night. The hen night itself is actually going to be at her house. We're going to have like a big sleepover and order some food and get some nibbles in and some drinks in and just have a really nice chill night. So I decided not to go too overboard, but I did go a little bit crazy. Um, I am a very DIY crafty person and I do love making things from scratch, but I do like purchasing things as well so some of them have been bought and then some of them have been made so it's like a nice mixture of both and I do believe that if you incorporate some of your own crafts into like parties and stuff or events it does make it a bit more personalized and it's just a bit more you know nicer and adds that final touch to it so I have added some like sentimental items into this like mix so it has a nice like range to it instead of just like shop bought items so I will show you some of the stuff I have made and I have bought for my friend's home night. I think I am more excited than her at this point because I just love decorating and I'm really excited just to fill this all up and have it set up in my mind of how I want it to look. I am in charge of the head night so you know it's up to me how to decorate it and the theme and all that stuff. The only thing she mentioned she didn't want was tacky items like blow up you know what. So I didn't get them <laughs> but I will show you what I did. I think I'm going to start with the things I made first and then I will show you the things I bought. So I've made a bunch of tall pom-poms, I love these and these are very very cute and girly and I think they definitely set off a theme. Um, as you can tell the theme is baby blue and then I've added a few hints of white in there as well just to break it up a little bit so it's not too blue. Um, yeah this is just tall material. So I have a bunch of blue tall and then white tall and the white one has like blue sequins in there probably hard to tell but they're a bunch of like random sequins and then some of them are tied and some of them aren't so some of them are going to be scattered around the table and then the rest of them are going to be hanged near the backdrop. I've got three blue, two small ones and one big one and then for the white tools I've got two small and one big one so there's uh, like six of them tall pom-poms that I made these are dead easy to do um, I found a YouTube link on how to make these very very simple so I will link it down below just to help you guys if you're interested in making these the material I used again was tall just because I like the, the way they're holding the shape more um, I have used another material in here which I'll show you in a second and it's pretty still but the texture is different completely and it doesn't hold the shape as much it goes a bit more limp Whereas this one holds to the shape that you want. I just like the way it looks, so and it's really lightweight. Like you can hang loads of these. So I like tall the best. So I got six of these made. And then the other pom pom I made was just from a piece of cloth. So it's like a linen cloth, and it's almost like a um, drop curtain that you could hang up. So it's like a single pane curtain. So I did the same method with the pom-pom and it's nice, it's really pretty and fluffy and again I do love the way these look but it does go a bit more limp and a bit more soft so it does wilt a bit more. Um, I just prefer the tall ones but I have another option here to hang up somewhere so a different sort of texture. So I made this as well, it's just a piece of lace and in the middle it says Mr and Mrs with pearls hanging down, it's really pretty. Pinched in the middle and then it kind of fans out and then you can like tie this to the wall. And then on this section panel here there's some little pegs if you can see it, they're very tiny. And you can hang some photos on there of the Mr and Mrs, the groom, the couple, um, and I think that'll look really pretty. So that's going to hang on the wall as well, so it's a nice pretty little touch. I didn't just want to hang photos on the wall, and I thought I'd add a little bit of lace into this and just make it really floral and girly. And again, white is very bridal, so this piece of material I just got from my local boys, so really, really easy and cheap as well. So it's such a cheap, affordable item to do throwback to the couple because I want to incorporate him into this as well not just all about the bride so I made that so that the you know groom's photos can be incorporated into this as well that way he's some part of this it's gonna leave me a house key while she goes out to um, decorate like the, the event the venue so she's not gonna be there when I'm decorating the rooms so I wanted her to have a welcome sign so when she walks in to the room she can see this is the first thing she sees on the table um, this is just made from cardboard I am gonna paint the back I've not got around to that yet so this is not gonna look ugly on the back I'm gonna paint it all black so 
it's just gonna look nice <laughs> much nicer than cardboard but i just wanted to show you it is actually made from cardboard and homemade myself and it just says welcome to carly's girls night i was gonna put hen night but i thought maybe girls night because i know she likes to call it that um i've been calling it hen night because it is but she likes girls night so i wanted to incorporate that into it i made some like hand painted flowers down here with some pearls in the middle and i stuck a bunch of little roses round and then it's got like a little rosary of pearls draped so I think that's really, really pretty and cute and I wanted to, you know, make a nice little welcome sign for her. So another nice little tradition I like for head nights is you can do like a personalised touch, which is like a kiss the miss goodbye thing. And then you can like um, do a kiss print on the paper and then sign it and leave a little note to the bride. Um, instead of buying one, I thought I'd make one myself just because it adds that nice touch to it again. Just use a white picture frame and then I handmade some little paper roses and hot glued them to the frame. Um, and I put like little pearls in the centre as well. So it just makes it a little bit prettier. And then it has a little piece of colour board in the middle that just says kiss the miss goodbye and it has some little blue accent stones around it so again it makes it more personal and this is a standing up frame so I can stand it on the table and then later on during the night we can take this out sign it print it put it back in the frame and then she has a nice little memory from the night and we can all leave her like our own little print on it so yeah I really like this and I thought this is a nice little touch to it as well I think most of this is handmade stuff to be honest but I have got other stuff to buy as well so I will mention things and if I haven't bought them I'll put a picture up so you can see what it's going to look like because there's things that I haven't got yet. Um, but this item here isn't finished so it looks a bit empty, it's not finished but this is in, still in a work in progress. So this is just a glass jar but this is a coffee jar, I think it's Kenko, I can't, be sh I can't remember. Um, but Carly gave me this glass and she says can you use this for anything do you want to use it I was like yes grab I'll have that just in case I come up with an idea and I did a second I got home I was like I know what I can do with that so I washed all the labels off and it's just a clear glass and then on top instead of having like plain and it has a Kenko on it or something I wanted to make it a bit more personalized so I made a little sign that says bride and then put a little pearl embellishments around the edges here and then hot glued that to the lid and the lid around the side is just gold so I kept it gold and I put a little with love uh, sign here popped a ribbon around it and then added some little pearl embellishments and a little sign that says message in a bottle this is going to be a little sentimental gift again for the bride for the night of the hen night um, I'm going to make a little message for her and roll it into like a scroll and then tie it with a blue ribbon and put it inside and then halfway across the jar I'm going to fill it up with some sweets um, the theme is blue so I'm going to go for like little blue sweets um, like hundreds and thousands or something, something blue themed. She can't eat chocolate, so I'm gonna put sweets in it instead so that way she can still eat it. So I think that's gonna be a nice little sentimental gift again for the hen night and she can read the little message before bed or whatever you wanna do or the morning of the wedding. And yeah, it's just a little nice little message in a bottle for the bride. Okay, another work in progress one. This one is finished, but I've got two more to make for the bridesmaids. So this is a bridal glass. I'm in love with this, this is so cute. I got this idea from YouTube again, I will link the video down below. She is a lifesaver, as soon as I saw that it clicked, I was like yes, I need to do that. So I got a wine glass and I turned it into a little bridal gown. I think it's so cute, it's got like a little skirt on the bottom, pearls embellished all the way around, and a little ribbon and a little accent like diamante in the middle. I used a lot of material under the skirt just to make it a bit more puffier and a lot of hot glue. <laughs> so I thought I'd make one for the bride so she could actually use this on the night of the hen night and have her drinks from this. I'm going to buy two more glasses and then do two for the bridesmaids. The bridesmaids are obviously in blue so I've got some blue tool ready for the bridesmaids cups um, and then I will do the same thing here with the bodice and the pearls but instead of white do that in blue as well and then a little blue detail here. So I've got some tool ready for two more glasses for the bridesmaids and then you can line them up on the table at the party and it'll look so pretty. I think that's such a cute little touch so I'm really excited to give that to her and I think she'll love that. So that is all the handmade stuff, let's move on to things that I've bought now. I still have a big giant bag here so this might take me a while but I'll try and go as quick as I can. So in the room she has a big table and I'm going to use that as like the main focus point and put all the decorations on the main table. Um, I'm also going to bring my backdrop stand that I have already and bring it to hers and put it next to the table so we can like elongate that wall and make use of the whole wall. Silver sparkly sequin backdrop on it. So it's going to be this which is like a silver sparkle one. Um, I think silver is nice because they do have a white 
glittery one but it doesn't really show off as much especially in pictures so I thought silver because it's bridal and it still goes and yeah just a nice silver sequin backdrop to go on the backdrop, the backdrop stand. I'm gonna do a double layering with the backdrop. So over top of the sequined backdrop, I'm gonna be using this foil curtain, which is gonna go over it. So it's gonna have that really nice sequin movement to it. And this is gonna be moving and like when people are moving around. So the foil curtain's gonna be moving, but then you'll have the sequin backdrop behind it. So you won't get any hidden gaps that's on show. So I think this is gonna be pretty layered over top of that. So I got two of these just to be sure, because I don't know how wide I want this to be. So I've got two of them. Again, I will try and link everything down below to make it a bit easier for you guys, but it's just a really, really to the floor long length um, blue foiled curtain, and I love it. And I think this is gonna look amazing on the backdrop and look all pretty and cute. And then for the actual backdrop, I need to buy some little props to hold up for the camera, like Mr. and Mrs. and like mustaches and stuff like that. I'll buy them another day. That's a last minute thing to get. Um, I also have this, which is the bride, bride to be rosette that she can wear for the hen night, and then she can wear that in the pictures and stuff. So I've got that for the table. Or this little headband, <laughs> it's just white and fluffy, and it says party. So it's just a cute little headband, and it's white and fluffy, so it goes with the theme. I also have a lace mask that we can use for the backdrop in case we want to use like loads of different props. And I also have a blue feather boa because who doesn't like taking pictures with feather boas? So I have one of these but in like a baby blue, so again, ties in. I have some baby blue napkins for the table. I also need to get some baby blue plates, but I'll get that another day. Um, but I have them so far. I have this really, really pretty baby blue silk scarf, but it's a really long scarf. And this is gonna be my table runner for the table. So I'm gonna put like a basic plain white cloth on the table. And then this is gonna be the table runner, which is a beautiful silk scarf all the way across the length of the table it's really wide and it has like embroidered flowers stitched into it and I think that's gonna look stunning so that is the table runner slash scarf <laughs> I also have some royal blue sequins for the table I picked royal blue instead of baby blue just to break up the coloring a bit so I got darker blue and then I got a bunch of balloons so I've got clear royal blue and then confetti balloons like blue confetti inside of a clear balloon so I've got a bunch of these I think there's like 12 in there but I do need to get some more those balloons I'm going to make into like a balloon column or a balloon garland and then put them together and then on top of that the main focus point is going to be this little balloon which is a ring and it says I do woohoo <laughs> in the blue color I had a really hard time finding a wedding ring um, or engagement ring that was like a blue colour, everything was like gold or like silver and I was like no I want blue and I found this one like the very last page on eBay and I found it so I will link it down below it's really cute and you can just blow this up with air or helium whichever you want to do you just put the straw in the bottom here and blow it up and then this is going to be on top of them balloon columns so all the big balloons are going to be the base and then this will be on top that's everything I've got so far then I just want to mention a few things that I need to buy or in the process of doing still so one more item that I'm in the process of doing is hangover bags <laughs> i'm really excited to do this because that's the first thing i thought of and i'm still working on it um but i want to get some linen drawstring bags so i do need to buy the bags and then inside them i have some things ready to go i'm going to be putting some paracetamol tablets in the bags because you know hangovers you're going to get headaches and stuff the next day so paracetamol a must picked up a bunch of lip balms to go in the bags again you might have dehydrated or dry lips the next day so lip balms again are a nice essential i got some packs of latte coffees so ready mix ones that you can just mix yourself i've got some sweeteners i need to get some white sugar and brown sugar just in case because i don't know what they prefer so a nice little coffee treat for the morning I'm also going to add like a little packet of tea as well, just in case they want tea or coffee. Just, I also have these to put in the bags, but I need to buy a couple more, I've only got one for now. I have some hair ties here, the white one says bride, so that's going to go in the bride's hangover kit. And then the blue one here says bride squad, so that's going to be for the bridesmaids. So I need to get some more blue ones, I've already got the bride one. <laughs> so I need to get a bunch more of them for the little bags as well. A couple more things that I need to buy for the hangover kits. 
I also need to buy a face mask for the hangover kits and some cough drop sweets just in case. I was going to put a few plasters in the bag just in case. You never know if there's going to be any bumps or falls on the hen night. So I'll put them in the bags too. And that's going to be the little hen night hangover bags. Add a nice little twist to the party as well. So they'll be placed onto the table as well. Dressing gowns and pyjama sets that have like bride and bridesmaid and maid of honour and all that sort of stuff. They will be laid nice and folded onto the table all in a row so it's all going to be laid out beautifully. I also want to buy a donut stand because I think this is going to look really cute. It's just a small little donut stand that you can stand up like a picture frame and you can hang some little donuts on. I will put a picture up here so you can see what it looks like. So you can hang like nine donuts on it and I think it's really really cute and I'll buy some backup donuts in case we run out of them and I can hang some more up. I also want to buy a hen night sign, that's a little banner which I've seen on eBay, so I definitely need to buy that. I also want to buy a bride headband um, that says bride on it, so she can use that for the props, <laughs> for the backdrop. And I also want to buy her a sash as well, bride to be sash, which is the only one again in blue that I could find on eBay, so I'll be buying that one for her and a veil, like a wedding veil as well. So um, the other bridesmaids, I'm in charge of like decoration things and she's in charge of like games for the party. So she'll be bringing like games and stuff along with her. Um, and she's also in charge of an other thing, which, and then she's also gonna bring a few other little bits of decorations. I think she's got like some temporary tattoos as well that says like um, bridesmaids, bride-to-be, that sort of thing. So yeah, we've got quite a bit to do. <laughs> so I'm really, really happy with everything I've done or bought for this party and I'm just so excited to get it all set up. I will try and film like a little video of it all set up and stuff and I'll put it at the end of this video because this will go up after the hen party. Um, yeah, so I'm really, really happy with everything. I really hope you enjoyed this and you got some ideas, inspiration from this video. And yeah, I really hope you have an amazing event, whatever it's gonna be, a hen night, party, wedding, birthdays, christening, whatever it is. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really does help me. If you like this sort of themed videos, like DIY videos, I can start making them where I'm like making the items because I thought about halfway through I was like maybe I should be showing how I made them but most of them I've been watching like tutorials on YouTube for and I like recreated them and I will link them down below so you guys have more help on how to do them but they're really really simple to do don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to be notified of future videos just like this one and I'll see you all next time bye guys Every single position. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh! 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 Oh my gosh
Oh wow. Someone's got a bit speechless how I did. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? This is what I heard. The, this was the rubbery. I was like, I can't slap the chair. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? I've hit my word address, you can't see it. Yeah. We fought ahead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> bit by bit, creative imagination.